welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be counting my $5 savings jar. So excited. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Now I also cashed in my coin jar. I'll insert a clip of the little slip. My bank has a, cash, a coin counting machine. So with all of those coins, I was able to cash in $47.08. So really happy with that. Um, especially considering that I would forget to put my coins in there and I would end up using them at the store. Now my $5 savings jar, so this is probably gonna be a lot less than what you would see on another YouTuber's channel because I don't, I see some people deliberately not spend their fives. I don't do that. Um, it's just if I have that five left over, I put it in here. So I'm honestly hoping this is at least a hundred dollars. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just get started. And next year I won't have a jar. If you watched my previous videos, I ended up getting the big A5 envelopes from Intentional Living. So I'm gonna be doing the $1 challenge and the $5 challenge next year. I'm not gonna be doing the coin challenge, but um, yeah, so I'm really excited for the new year. Let me know if you have any plans. Right now it is New Year's Eve. So we were planning on going to the outlets tomorrow, but it's gonna rain. So we are gonna go today. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna film my regular cash stuffy. Normally I would do that on a Friday, but I don't think I'll be able to get that done today. So um, I will have that up tomorrow. So normally what we do on New Year's Eve is buy pizza and try to stay awake. We don't really do anything. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have plans. Are you going out? Are you having a house party? What? are you doing? So, um, I didn't post a video last week because, um, everything with Christmas, it got like way, way busy. So I wasn't able to post a video. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot for rollover money, but I just kept it in, um, my wallet for my cash envelopes. So, I think we're gonna have a little more than $100. So let me know in the comments how much you think is here. Either way, I'm happy because this is money that I did not have um, just from saving extra five. So I'm pretty excited. And I'm also really excited to do the $1 savings challenge next year. I think those are the only savings challenges I'm gonna be doing. I don't think I can afford um, to do like a regular one where you know you put so much every week or something like that. I'm just gonna do what I have, what I can do with like extra fives or ones. So let me know what your plans are with savings challenges next year. I think it's getting a little, it's getting a little thick. I'm excited. All right, so there are my fives. All right, so let's get started. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 245 plus 47 is what? 29208. 29208, I was able to save just by saving any extra money that I had left. So I'm really excited about that. So um, I think what I'm going to do is put I'm gonna put $70 towards family for the outlets today. And then I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the rest. I think I'm gonna put it 
with um, towards my student loan. So in case you haven't heard, student loans are now in forbearance further through May of 2022. So that's a lot more payments that we can get in before the interest starts coming. So I'm pretty excited about that. So, um, but yeah, and I think I'm going to put some towards my, my Marlowe envelope. So yeah, that is it for my savings challenge. Really excited about that. Almost $300 saved. So let me know if you have any questions and I will see you tomorrow in my video. Bye.